debutante ball for pickup trucks, the State Fair of Texas serves up as much sheet metal as scuttlebutt. After Ed Locks, the group vice president of marketing for Toyota, told automotive news reporter Lauren Silliff that powertrains would be a big piece of the planned upgrades for the Tacoma, Illiff asked about the possibility of a hybrid pickup. Locke's answer there was absolutely no reason a hybrid Tacoma couldn't be done, and that the need to satisfy cafe requirements meant there's no option that isn't on the table. Locke's comments echo those of the president of Toyota Canada, who said of hybrid pickups earlier this year, I'm not saying there's demand for one today, but we've looked at it seriously. The statements don't mean much by themselves, a long, ruthless road separates a car maker's war room from the dealer's showroom littered with ideas killed during the march from the former to the latter. The hybrid pickup idea has been a wily survivor at Toyota HQ, though. Remember the Toyota ABAT concept hybrid pickup from 2008? The ABAT went from imminent arrival to indefinite hold in a year, and with it died Toyota's plans for a small displacement diesel. In 2011, Toyota announced a collaboration with Ford to bring a hybrid pickup to market. Less than two years later, the tie-up had gifted the world little more than an acrimony, a public breakup, and assurances that both automakers would keep production hybrid pickups on their big boards. Third-party fleet specialists like Workhorse and XLP plan to sell retrofitted hybrid pickups next year, a development certain to massage consumer hearts and minds. Bob Lutz approved via Motors expects to move 50,000 such vehicles by itself.